<laughs> All right, everybody, I'm out here with the Skymark Pursuit Drone by Promark. I've never flown this thing. I've had it for a long time, and it's just been sitting. Okay, so we're going to see if we can get this thing going. Uh, I'm not making any promises, okay? I'm <laughs> just really just not. See on here that the battery indicator will not start. It will not show anything on the battery indicator. So, I don't know. But we're going to try to fly it around a little bit to see what happens. Um, let me see if the video is actually working. Yes, it is. But if you see on the screen um, here in a second when I get going, you'll see that it's not doing anything. It never wants to recognize the battery or the controller. So, I mean, I don't know what the heck the deal is. It won't show any of the, any of the stuff. So, I don't know, man, this thing. You see on the screen, it shows nothing for the battery and nothing for the transmitter. So it's not recognizing anything. Has no data down there on, no telemetry at all. Doesn't tell you anything about satellites or anything like that. So, I mean, I don't know. This is the same problem that thousands and thousands of people were having with this thing. And I, I had it with my other one, the one I sent to Ron. I had it with that, but I figured it out, the sequence of starting it. And this is the same quadcopter, but it doesn't want to... Um, There it is in the higher rate. I just don't know why the telemetry won't work or the why it won't recognize it won't recognize it on the app the the controller but the controller is working but it acts like the controller ain't there you know what I mean it's kind of weird now I doubt that any of the if any of the stuff is gonna work either I'm gonna try to, um, to follow me and now don't forget this follow me on this thing. It doesn't have no halo, so it'll come and clop you right in the head if you're not careful. Okay, so you gotta be careful with this thing. 
because that almost happened to me with the uh, the other one. So I'm not really gonna know. I don't think when the battery starts going, unless it uh, starts flashing a light or beeping or something. Most like most likely it'll put out some annoying ass beep. Okay, so let me back up here a little here. And hit the follow me. There's a button on the controller and then there's a button on the app. Let me hit the controller button. Okay, let me turn that off because it's beeping. Now sometimes if you just use the app button, it don't beep like with the video. Okay, so I hit the app button. Okay, so it's work. Oh, hey, watch out now. This thing, this thing, this thing is going to be a little crazy. So it's actually working, but for some reason, it's not recognizing it on the app, the transmitter or anything. But to follow me, it's, well, is it kind of working or? No, nope, it's not. Well, it worked for a second. It started to follow me and then stopped. Um... I don't know, man. Let me stop it and restart it. See if it'll do any better. Maybe I need to get closer. I'm trying. I'm trying. Here it comes. What the heck? That thing, I'm telling you, man, this thing <laughs> cracks me up, man. Oh, boy. I'm getting rid of that. Follow me. Now, there's a takeoff, land, return to home. It doesn't have really hardly any features other than that. And this camera, the motor on the camera is not working that hot either. I don't know. It's a classic, okay. We're just going to ride it out here and... Hopefully the battery will let me know when it's dying. Because in the video signal here, um, there is no... The, the video is flashing like it's recording. Because I do have an SD card in there. And the SD card is right here in the back, right there. But... Uh, on the screen, it doesn't tell you how long it's how long it's been recording. So I actually have no way of knowing how much time I've been in the air unless I take off my hat and look at the camera, which I think I'll do real quick. Okay, so the camera's been running for 10 minutes. The GoPro. So, I mean, it seems to fly okay. Let me put it down in the lower rate. Oh. I don't see no difference. Pitch looks the same to me. I mean, you know, it's a SEMA X8, okay? That's what it is. Maybe I'll put the session on here and try it out. Or the, the, um, what's that other little one that, 
Insta 360 Go, maybe that would work okay on here. Uh oh, wait a minute, I see some lights flashing. Okay, I gotta bring it back. All right, all right guys, there you go. Promark Pursuit Drone. <laughs> Let me cut the video. All right. Yay. Yay, it worked. Okay, so it worked, man. I mean, yeah, great, great stuff. I'm happy with it. Let me see my photo album here and see if that's in there. Okay, so the video ran for 9 minutes and 24 seconds. Yeah, so there it goes. So I'll put that in the in the uh in the deal there. Okay. But it didn't um it didn't record the uh the data. For some reason, it's just not recognizing. But at least you got the lights to show you. Um, you know, it show you what's happening. So just deal with it that way. I mean, that's what I'm going to do. I'll probably fly it a couple more times. Maybe it'd be good something to bring out in the winter. Or I'll take it up to Beaver or something. All right, guys, man. I'll talk to you later. Have a nice day.